It's a little crooked. Uh, I can't. I don't know where to look. <laughs> it's so wobbly, Dan. What's going on? Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Guinea Baker Crystal, where we don't actually bake anything because I still don't have a mixer. But tonight, don't worry, it is St. Patrick's Day. I've got my green on, so Dan can't pinch me, although I don't see any green on Dan, so he's got one coming. Uh, tonight, we are making potato soup. The traditional Irish-type foods are not really things that I'm going to eat. They're, they tend to be very meat-heavy. Are we good? Uh, I don't know. Either we're good or we locked up. Just keep on going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they tend to be very meat heavy and I don't eat meat, so we're going potato soup. Irish people like potatoes, right? A uh, nice mic placement. I don't know where the mic is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look, we're making it work tonight. We, we've, As usual, we've got some catastrophic things going on before the show, but we're making it work. We're doing it. Uh, Molly, uh, perhaps our Irish friend, is laughing the plain food <laughs> yes don't worry this soup has plenty of flavor are we are we good do we know okay uh this soup has plenty of flavor we've had made it several times it's absolutely amazing unfortunately i put it on the schedule before i knew terry wasn't going to be here when we were making it as we all know nobody in this house has any knife skills except terry and uh i tried to get everything chopped before we started so you wouldn't have to make fun of my knife skills but that didn't happen so here we are happy saint patrick's day Let's hope I don't lose a finger. First step is going to be to uh, chop the onion and celery. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while we, uh, you know, say hi to everybody and everything. Uh, Woofy suggesting Dan gets a pinch for every super chat. I am on board. <laughs> totally on board with that. Although uh, that might break him. So I think that the celery needs to be chopped finer than my little chopper thing that I've shown you guys will chop. So I'm trying to do that by hand and not lose a finger. And then the onions I'm going to put in the chopper. So we start off with onions and celery and we cook that in the pot by itself first. Then we'll chop the potatoes, which are definitely going in the chopper because I don't have the patience to chop all those potatoes. You know, when people actually have knife skills, Dan, they make it look so easy. Right. I just, my hands don't do the things. I know you're supposed to tuck your fingers, but that doesn't really work for me. I don't, I don't have that skill. Is there a knife class? Can we just take a knife skills class? Is that a thing? Like, I don't need to go to culinary school. I just need to learn how to use a knife properly. So this is two stalks of celery that I chopped long ways and into little strips because I don't know how you're actually supposed to chop celery. And uh, now I'm chopping into tiny little bits because I don't want to taste celery or crunch on bits of celery. Almost done. So close. All right, and then I think when you're done, you're supposed to take the knife and go, right? Is that the thing people with knife skills do? Or am I just decimating my celery? I don't know. When you have a second, can you turn chat this way? Thanks. Oh, Terry's in the chat encouraging me. Thank you. You would be shaking your head if you were here watching this. This this is the thing you do, right? Do I look like I have skills? Close enough. Works for me. All right. Two sticks of celery chopped up. I should get those into a bowl. Thanks, Sam. Celery really helps the flavor of any soup. I had no idea. I only use it because the recipe calls for it. I don't feel like you really taste it. I don't like celery, but it's a texture thing. Um, I don't know if the flavor bothers me. I just don't like the texture. Still 
audio you okay? I don't even have a stand for the audio today. It's, no. So. We're fine, Dan. We got this. Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, just do a YouTube search for knife skills cooking class. I have watched YouTube videos on how to use a knife properly, and it has not helped me. Is Dan okay? He's getting there. We're, we're having some, uh, some technical difficulties, but we're making it work. All right, time for the dreaded onion. Uh, the gaming ham with a pinch for Dan. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll pinch him when he's when he's done. All right, let me do uh, the trick Blake taught me. How come you're not smashing it in your machine? I'm going to, but I have to chop the ends off and then chop it into quarters first, and it's still gonna make me cry in the meantime. Uh, Jess says a dicer is great for onions as well. I have this. I don't know if you've seen this, Jess. Um, it's basically a giant version of my garlic smasher. I have like a, a slap chop, but it just mashes everything. I don't know if it's not sharp enough or what. This works really well, though. We've used this a couple of times, and uh, it's amazing. I'm really quite happy with it. So don't really have onion peeling skills. Is that a thing? Is there a class for onion peeling? I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> I'm really not good with food. Desserts are more my specialty. You know this. Do I take another layer? I guess that's good. No, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for it. Is that, is that TV magic? Yeah, I, I went away and when I came back the onion was chopped. Although some of the pieces like went in the wrong way. I think I'm going to have to throw them on here and and do that rolling knife thing. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't, we should be back. Uh, it just locked up. My computer is like on a 45 degree angle. One of the wheels broke off a bit. Everything slid off my desk for about like an hour before we started. And... Now just it's just gonna give me it's it's being tech it's being tech teeny. <laughs> it's acting like a teen. It's just all <laughs> Is that is that a technical it's term? All broody. I mean look at my desk. It's literally like on a forty five degree. It's, it's angle. on tilt. Okay. Is it are we back? Is this Are we back now? Jason texted me sound with exclamation marks. I don't know if that means there's no sound or we have sound. Or if he just realized there was uh, no sound. Right now we're sound. Oh, I was doing so good. <sighs> we should be back, but I can't tell. All right. Well, I'm just chopping onions. Okay, let's see what the chat says. The chat says... What? I don't know. Everything is working. Is that... Yes, everything's working again. We don't have no echoes or any double, triple anythings. We're good right now. My eyes are leaking severely. Mm. Oh, I hate onions so much. I can't 
We'll be back. Like the chat will be back in a minute here. I'm still opening up window. I'm still opening up windows and stuff. Are they watching me die though? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Oh. Why though? You're doing it wrong. <sighs> My little tool works really well, but some of the things went in like sideways. And then they were strips and not squares. <sighs> and now I'm just crying. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Have a beer. <laughs> so. uh, Chris with the Super Chat says the traditional <laughs> Irish cure for onions burning your eyes is to separate an egg by hand instantly better. Must separate your head by hand, Chris. <laughs> so here's the issue. This just snapped off my desk, right? My desk just comes tumbling down. Everything comes sliding off my desk. So my desk's on this angle. I have a hunk of metal underneath it, but I don't have anything this high that can hold up like this desk's over a hundred. It's like over a hundred pounds. So, oh my gosh. So uh, they're gonna send me another one of these, but this thing's huge and it's snapped off for my, for my desk. So yeah, everything's either on the floor or <coughs> Yeah, I don't know. So then, after that, like, like, after that, after the Titanic sunk, it, like, like, nothing worked after that. Nothing got injured, but, like, now the camera's not working right. The second camera's dead, dead. Like, oh, it's just what happens in this it's house. Like, it's like that thing, yeah, where it's like, that's just what happened. There was yeah. no reason for the stream to all of a sudden lock up. Like, no. No. No, but one thing went wrong, so therefore everything's yeah. going wrong. So that's all. That's all. That's why I'm quiet, because I'm trying to, like, get the stream set up, and, like, everything's super sketchy on my desk. It's like It, it, is, a, it is a little it, sketchy. It's on an eagle. Yes. After this, I have to, like, do some stuff. Uh, Christine once saw a guy at a Chinese restaurant wrap, wrap plastic wrap over his eyes to chop onions. That is brilliant, and I think I'm totally doing that next time. Um, I need, I, Here, I can, can't see the super chats, I see them on your other screen, but I, I can't read that. I lost the mouse. It might have slid off my desk <laughs> onto the ground. I don't know if you're going to be able to do Thanks, anything Stan. Around, but I don't even want to look at the computer for like two minutes. That's fair. Uh, Jesse, Evil Ash, like Ken, Wolf Cop, uh, the rest is cut off, uh, says, hey, with member super chat, thank you so much, friend. Thanks for being here. Uh, Gaming Ham with another pinch for Dan. We're going to give him a minute, but don't worry, there's, there's four pinches for Dan coming. Uh, do you have a restaurant supply store near you or like a Harbor Freight? You can buy caster wheels like that. Jess says, maybe. I got, I, they're, com they're coming. Uh, Gaming Ham's suggesting you 3D I, print something. <laughs> they're coming. I just can't, I can't do nothing tonight. Uh, Brittany, with a member super chat, thank you so much. Stick your head in the freezer and blink. Okay, okay. She says it works for her. Let's see. Maybe? <laughs> All right, on to the next step. We're going to add the butter and the olive oil, which is a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. So I've got my tablespoon of butter already cut here. We'll throw that in. Is it time to go over to the stove? It is. All right, this is gonna be like owl, where we're gonna all go over to the stove together. All of us? Yes, because I do not have a second. Oh. Wait, we take the battery pack with us. Alright, and to this we are going to add the celery and onions. Check it out. I don't know if you can see, but the barge is on a lean. <laughs> it's on lean. Okay. So we're gonna try to go over here. I might need that stuff. Well, sorry for the shaky camera. I don't like this. Is this is it today? Be adjusting in a second. Is this the only burner you're using? Yes, yeah, so it all goes in one pot. Okay. So I'll kind of keep it off to the side so the chat can, on the television people can go up the side. Okay. okay um, watch out for this cable. 
this is like a super long cable for the yeah thing. Oh, okay. I, I now have to chop potatoes though. Oh. But that's fine. That's fine. Y'all can just watch that. I, sorry, I didn't think of that. Well, I'll just bring the. I can bring it. Look, every time I made this, Terry does all the hard work, and she's not here, so. We're seeing how Crystal fares at making potato soup. Because we don't actually know. The first time I made it, she kind of just got roped into it because I was really sick. And we had started making it, and then I got really sick. Like, really sick. <laughs> and so she just did it. And then she did a really great job, and it turned out amazing. And so then all the other times, she just took over and chopped the things and did the things. and. Never actually made it. Uh, how do you hold the pot handle like that without burning your hand? Um, it wasn't hot. I don't know, it was far enough away from the flame, I guess, that it didn't actually get hot. After, like, if I boil spaghetti in there and it's it's been on for a while, I'll just usually grab a, a towel or an oven mitt. But it hasn't been on long. Clean. Uh, Dora says, I love the taste of onions, but not the texture, so I use onion powder instead. These, you don't get the texture in this recipe because you cook them for a while. Like, they're going to cook while we chop the potatoes. So there's not going to be any crunchiness from it. Uh, did Mooch get any onion knives? Mooch, oddly enough, is not in his spot. I'm not sure where he is. Is he on his blanket? Yeah. Yeah, it's still a little bit chilly, so he's on his warm blanket. All right, now I need a bigger chopper. We're gonna use this one so we have big potato bits. But I still need to peel my potatoes. I was trying to get all the prep work done before we started, but that did not happen. I see Sam encouraging me again, thanks. Uncle Yukon calling people out. Not everybody has pawed up. If you guys haven't already, uh, please hit the thumbs up. It helps us in ways none of us understand. By the way, these are the tiniest potatoes. I just grabbed a bag of potatoes. Didn't realize they're stupid tiny. Which means I'm going to need way more than the, what was it, three to four large potatoes it called for. One time I put too many potatoes in and it wasn't right. It was like all starchy. Yes. Um, it does specify, I think it's like six to eight cups or something like that. So I will definitely be measuring it. Gotcha. <laughs> Dr. Detroit says, this new stream style reminds me of those channels that do ASMR cooking. <laughs> Sorry if you're not down for the sound of my potato peeler. I, apparently I do not have peeler skills either. Well, Cyber Husky's here. Hi, Cyber Husky. Congratulations on 500 subscribers. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot more skinning to do because they're tiny. It would be a lot easier to peel three or four potatoes than the, like, six or eight I'm actually going to have to do. Just as I should send you the link to the auto potato peeler I bought, too. It looks like <laughs> it carves a record into the potato. Like Is it, it like the, the apple peeler where I it just goes so, around yeah, it? Yeah, and it needles. And it works really well, but it looks like it carves music into the food. <laughs> That's what I think of. Can we throw it on the record player after we peel it? You probably could. I'm in. You think they're coming to my rescue? It's spring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're coming to bring me a caster wheel. <laughs> 
Why don't I just lay down on the ground underneath it and just use me to prop the desk up? It's heavy. <laughs> like, it fell. It fell. Everything slid off the desk. Bam! I hear smashing on the floor. Right? Were you, like, at the desk? I was turning the desk sideways to set up for the street. Gotcha. I had just gotten done uploading uh, the video for tomorrow, and... I think that's the same wheel that when we were moving it the other night, it like wouldn't rotate and I had to go kick it to make it like not kick it. I didn't break it, but I had to like use my foot to make it rotate because yeah, it wouldn't it was, rotate it how it's supposed weird, to. But it was inside because th this one has a post on it and that post snapped off inside. Oh, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. Right, right, right. So it slides down, right? Everything smashes to the ground. First thing I do, and it's heavy. The first thing I do is figure out how to get my phone out and make a video. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you did send me a video, but um, when I'm at work and not on Wi-Fi, it takes forever for a video to come through, so I didn't actually watch it because it, I forgot. It's like a minute long. It's smashed down. It's me trying to hold up the desk like that naked dude holds up like that ball. What is that? <laughs> What's that? Whatever the ball is. The, I like think it's Atlas. Something. No, I think it's the Earth. Oh. Well, that makes sense then. Huh, okay, that's better than what I thought. So I'm holding that, I'm trying to make a clip, everything's on the ground. Wolfie said, here come the tater cops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but that was funny. <laughs> so so I grab I make a clip. Because of course. And then like then I'm trying to figure out what to do. So yeah, I think I was like I think I was holding it for like twenty minutes. <laughs> Just like Planning your next move? Yeah. I, okay, look, I can move the camera. What are you doing over here, Stern? Um, I'm just stirring. I think it might need a little bit more butter in here because there's like no more liquidiness. That's what Jess would say. Do you have any wood blocks that you could put in your leg? I don't think so. It's high up too, so I need a couple like two by fours stacked and like like glued together with the nails. <laughs> glued together with the nails. So not really. It's, right now it's like leaning on, right now it's leaning on a very expensive, like, it's leaning on a very expensive, uh, F1 racing wheel. Like, you can't really see, it's kind of just leaning there. Don't tell Blake. And then, yeah, don't tell Blake. And then the back wheels are, the back wheels there, and then this back wheel over here is just up in the air. So, you can't really tell, but the whole desk's on this big lean right now. So that's the only thing that's keeping it up because it's got rubber feet on it. And so, yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, there's a cat real quick. <laughs> and Dan might cry. <laughs> and Dan might cry. Okay, okay, back to your regular scheduled program. I'm okay, it just threw me off, like, like, and then all of a sudden the computer didn't work. You guys were here for that, like, all of, like, <laughs> what, well, how, what, how, what happened? What did I do? What did I do? I like the movie Short Circuit. Why is... Why is <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? It's short circuiting. I could build a Lego block the right size. I know, right? Brilliant. Okay, so Wolfie W says, just take the other three wheels off till the new one gets here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But... <laughs> so... There's two big, huge mount clamps on here. There's a computer on here. So everything has to come off. To flip it over you can't just do nothing there's a hole it goes up and down so this thing probably weighs a hundred plus pounds so after we're done here I have to strip it down and then flip it over short circuit was awesome yes and e even short circuit 2 was great too I love that movie uh, anyway so yes so yes Home Depot should have those wheels no they don't <laughs> no. here's the thing I have an M8 by 15 millimeter thread, thread that has to come up off of here. These aren't traditional caster wheels that bolt from the bottom. Where am I? They don't bolt from the bottom. These caster wheels have a bolt that's snapped off in there. And this bolt is a certain thread size that I had to go look up. And those aren't available in store. One time when I was rebuilding the engine on my Mustang, I broke a bolt. And we had to go get a tap out kit. Are you going to have to do that? Um, uh, I'm hoping that I don't have to. I'm hoping that I can drill into it a little bit. I I don't know what it looks like underneath there until I flip it over. Yes. Got it. 
Yes. So I can't just go grab, like, I can't just go grab one. They're sending me a replacement one, and I ordered a set that'll be here tomorrow from Amazon. So if those fit, I'm just throwing those on, and then I'm getting another one. Makes way more sense to get a block and stick it under there. Yeah, I have to find a block. I don't own a block. The problem is this happened, like, <laughs> just before yeah, going Yeah, this happened just, like, an hour ago. There's nothing I can, like, like, I had to, like, prop it up on that so I could stream. So after I'm done here, I'll, uh, after I'm done here, I'll take care of it. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just start blowing out the microphone like that. Oh, sorry. Are you done with that or no? Uh, for the moment. I don't know if the knife noise is doing the same thing, though. That's a little bit better than... I just look over and I just see red peeking. <laughs> sorry! Like, no! No! See, Dan, if you look close here, I have a bunch of blocks. You do. You guys all have, like, the wood... Like, the wood... Reserve the wood reserve so you guys can like wood the stuff <laughs> So you can wood I'm the, in the stuff. City. I'm in the city. I need to call DoorDash to, to go by Home Depot and bring me some wood. Please bring me one two by four yeah. So it's okay. I have to take it apart to get the new wheels on it anyway because it broke off in there uh, So all right, I'm doing the chop again. Wait, <laughs> you probably get it on here. I'm doing the chop. Do you want an audio? I will not. I did think of books for a minute because they're thick, but no. Uh, yeah, I, I have to take it. I thought you meant a sawmill. Do you have one of those? Like, just says it's not loud. But it's okay. I'll take it all apart. I'll flip it over. I'll, I have to get that bolt out of there, and then it'll be a good time to like, um, like uh, retighten like all the bolts and stuff on on my desk. So that's that'll happen like right after this, and then I'll figure out a way to show you the video. It was crazy. I was like, I gotta show you guys because it's tragic. <laughs> Sorry, I only have one camera today. I need to order another camera because my Logi, my Logi's dodgy. Because <laughs> everything happens in droves around here. Yeah. All right. So it wanted six to eight cups. We are at about four cups here. Oh my gosh! Did like did Google Chrome just crash on us? Um, I think we should, I think we should, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just says it's really quiet. Oh, you never turned it back up, so it's I, quiet. I, I turned it back up. I wonder if, like, it's not happy that my metal is leaning up against this other piece of metal here, and I wonder if it's, like, shorting out? But, like, I'd never, like, Google Chrome crash, but it's back, it's back. Is it back? It's back. It's back. No WD-40, but I do have some like three-in-one lube. Aren't you not supposed to use WD-40 as a lube anyway? So, well, depends on what industry you're asking. <laughs> no, I heard it's like bad for the metal, even still, though that's how it's marketed. Still cutting potatoes over here. Your, Dan, your story about the desk was great. I'm all good. Like, I'm good, but, like, it smashed, and then, like, it slid down, and it, like, caught me off guard. And then, oh, my gosh, I leaned, like, before I was able to, like, to get it propped up, like, I leaned on it to, like, push it back up while I made final edits to this video that I had. <laughs> and then I re-uploaded it while I was holding on with my hand. And, like, I just did it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, just, I did it. So I'll have a flat kit for, for the... For the for the desk, um, I'll have a flat kit for the desk next time. So when it happens, I'll have like a block. I'll yeah. have like a block of wood or That's something. A good idea. Yeah. Okay. I think I was supposed to add seasonings to this at some point too. 
Yeah, WD-40, we, so, I, I think we're misled into what we think WD-40 is for. It's more of a, it'll push away the grease and stuff like that. I think it's more uh, of a clean It's more off, of a cleanser than a lube. Yeah. Are, where are we at? Are we back over here? Um, I'm just putting salt and pepper in here right now, and then I'm going back to the I, I need some humans on, I need some humans on the, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the camera, like, went out and back in. I need humans on the screen for a minute. I'm so sorry, this stream is like, it was supposed to be our super good, like, uh, fourth of uh, <laughs> Saint Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And then like, here I am. <laughs> I am here, like unshowered and unshaved, and still like in today's clothes. And then like, the desk went kaput. Like, and like, if it didn't go kaput, I have time to like scrub you down and and scrub you down. Whoa. Sorry, and get ready for the stream. And then kaputs. Is that is that Irish? <laughs> I don't think so. Huh. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy, like, whatever, but, like, yeah, it threw me for a curveball. That's for sure. <laughs> you guys all know how well we deal with, like, unplanned, catastrophic things. It's blurry over there because I don't have my glasses on, and all I see is WD-40s in the chat. What's <laughs> 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 suggesting Dan deodorant? I am not a smelly person. Sometimes you smell like tortillas when you don't shower. But I'm not, I'm not really funky. There's so there's Crystal for a minute. Uh, I feel obligated to like check the <laughs> camera view just from like straight food. We're all just here for the food anyway. All right, this should be the end of potatoes. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what you're woeing about. Calm down, Whoa. Dan. What are you going to do with your scam discs, Dan? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'll tell the story about it when the stuff's cooking, and then I'll tell you what the fate of it are probably going to be. Bam. Bam. I said, uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, wait. It... Is that why there's no vlog for Snow Dogs vlog? I don't recall why. Not because of my desk. I don't know what the update. Oh well, yeah, we we're, we're gonna we we're, we're gonna. Jess do a says there's an update posted. I think I I don't know. I just ran out of time. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the update says, but yes to the update. But there's a new video tomorrow on on the dogs channel. Um, I finished editing that right before the stream, and, uh, it's cute and good. So easy. Everybody needs one of these. Do you need Irish Spring, Dan? I did it <laughs> until now, and then now I think I kind of do. Oh my gosh. It's appropriate. Alright, so it says six to eight cups of potatoes. We're at about eight. We're good. I like your dishwasher. It's a drug washer now, man. Look at it. It's all psychedelic. <laughs> okay, so then there's those. Oh, it's just a magnet from Amazon. It's amazing. Oh, I'm used to looking over here for the camera. The camera's no, here. No, it's here. Um, right it's now. a magnet from Amazon. You can get it in all kinds of patterns and things. My mom's is a big old beach scene. She's not very happy with it, though. Scott Somerville says, Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone, where all people are Irish for the day and all dogs are Irish setters. Are you Irish? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Um, I haven't done a twenty-three of me, but that's what I hear. I mean, you look like all the all the Irish things. Like you look like a little bit of the Fighting Irish logo. <laughs> I'll fight you. Um, you the ten percent quasi in you isn't he? Wasn't he from? Wasn't he from Ireland? Who? Quasi? Moto? Yeah. See, you know. <laughs> you know. I hate you. Little. So yeah. So you're a little Irish. So yeah. There's that. Dan smells like hot dog water. I don't. <laughs> Marco Crystal says I smell like tortillas if I don't shower. For he a does. Days. He does. When he doesn't shower, he smells like corn tortillas. In case you ever doubted that he's Mexican. I don't know if that happens to all Mexicans, but this one smells like tortillas. Scott Silverville says I'm 17% Irish and 52% Scottish. Do you sound like so I married an axe murderer? <laughs> 
Do I smell like corn or flour tortillas? Corn. As Mr. Danny Dell said earlier. Corn, <laughs> corn. Uh, Mr. Danny Dell, does that happen to you as well? <laughs> you're, so, you're bad. You're going to hell. I'm just stating the facts. I'm not, like, trying to be racist in any way. You smell like tortillas when you don't shower. I need to know if that's a genetic trait or not. Oh, hey, look, Mooch realized we're making food. Oh, Afriel just declared me a saint. I can't go to hell. I'm a saint. Right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Mooch. No, no, I need help, Dan. I'm, I'm over okay, here. Okay, well, I have garlic potato sticky hands. Right. Where, are you, where are you going? Because you're definitely not thirsty. <laughs> I already moved the cat from the... Uh, Hannah says, that's how you use the little green thing. I can never get mine to work. What were you doing with it? <laughs> were you putting it on your fingers? I must know what you were doing with it. Were you it. putting it on your fingers? Here, I'll, I'll go down. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you slide your garlic in it, and then you roll it with your hand. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine what you were doing. <laughs> okay, let me stir this real quick, because the next step now, I turned the heat down because the onions are, are brown now. They're all like mushy soft. Uh, the next step is to add the garlic. It calls for one clove. We all know you don't use one clove in anything. So here we go with all the cloves. The garlic's a little mushy, but it's still good. You're a saint because you deal with Dan all day. I'm so <laughs> I'm so rad. You have no idea. Hey, to be fair, Dan has to I, deal with me. I yeah. I've, it's definitely harder to deal with me than Dan. I vlog when my desk's crashing down. Um, I crash down when things don't work. <laughs> or go my way. Or several other reasons. There you go. I don't know if you're supposed to take this thing out the middle when it's green, but I always bug do. Says, don't roll your garlic too hard, it'll decimate it. Yeah, it's fine. Whoa, get back over here. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can so I can get this into the pot. Again, I wanted to have as much of this prep work done ahead of time as possible. You were doing a little bit before we started, though. I did. I did, like, half a celery. <laughs> Mooch, no. Why are you being a jerk tonight? Well, he tried to he tried to koala to the camera. He tried to koala <laughs> to the camera. That sounds about right. Sorry, if this audio is bad here. Sorry. Well, I might need a drink at the end of this. What kind of soup are you making? Potato soup. The potatoes are chopped. The celery and onions are in the pan. I am now chopping the garlic. I think I had half a dozen cloves instead of the one it called for because. Nobody's ever just used one clove of garlic in anything. If you did, you were doing it wrong. Wait, hold on. That's, that's, where's, how come you're using the bigger one? Because this is the tiny one for it's garlic. Like, it has tinier holes. <laughs> I like the little shaky thing. Yeah, it's my mini version. These two tools are a godsend. These are like the best things I have in the kitchen. Adele said, oh man, you sent me down a rabbit hole of dishwasher magnets now. <laughs> What's the best? It just sticks right on there. Because who wants to look at a dishwasher? It's ugly. You might as well fancy it up. I see people paint them, but I don't know if I am that brave. And this way I can change it out easily. Dan, I think you should make Crystal some tasty tea. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Tasty tea. <laughs> Only if it's got vodka in it. Because that's about where we are. Alright, garlic's going in. Are we back over here? Uh, yeah, I think we are. My instructions are still over there, but uh, you can take a look at my onions that are quite brown. Are garlic sticky. Hold on. Maybe this one camera thing is such a bad idea. Sorry. <laughs> one time we need a stove cam. On my daughter's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenbrain Jeff says the sh the kitchen aid will hear you. <laughs> About what? I don't know, but I'm, it's not here. It can't hear anything. All right. The potatoes are going in. And then it says we saute this for five minutes. 
saute sounds like a dance to me. Can you show me a saute? Like, oh, you're not on camera. Just <laughs> like. <laughs> I think he's twerking. Well, like, I don't have the Brazilian clappers. You're still twerking better than when you actually try to twerk. I know, today it feels <laughs> loose, but there's not even a camera on there. Okay, let me check my next step. Okay, so the next step is going to be to add the vegetable stock, which I already made. I had the bouillon cubes, and I made it with that, and it's four cups worth, which is sitting in the pot cooling at the moment, so I'm going to dump that into my measuring cup. While you guys just uh, watch potato saute, apparently. on your potato work in a minute. I can't, okay. I can't, I can't Yeah, have, there's really nothing to see here. I can't all. have everybody staring at this all night long. That's fair. What's happening in the chat, man? We're making Muddy Buddies still, right? <laughs> we'll see. That's the plan, though. Oh, you're that, not supposed to look at this part. Oddly enough, that does have to go on the stove as well. It's a, a different, no, Mooch, get down here and drink this water. That's where you have to go for water right now. So he's not happy about that. Not oh even a little okay, bit. Okay, okay, okay. This is I'll recover right here. Let's 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 go back let's go back to let's go back to camera A position A. Uh, Amanda wants some painting ideas. Our thermostat got changed out and does not cover all the unpainted wall that our old one did. Chris suggested I paint a picture or something. I don't have any idea. I have not seen your house, so I don't know what would work in there. Oh. Uh, you know what I do? I go to Pinterest and type in canvas painting and just scroll for hours. Like, do you want to put a design on the wall? No, no, no. A, a painting to cover where the thermostat was. I have, like, an entire Pinterest board that's all just painting ideas. You can go down a whole rabbit hole. Okay, I feel better. Oh, I'm just like, like this. Oh, uh, Hannah with the super chat, thank you okay. so much. Oh, by the way, uh, one, Ow. two, what? three, Wait, spread four, out. five, Whoa. six, seven. I don't know. Ow, you pinch it hard. It's the only Ow. way I know how. You pinch and... right here, and you totally missed my loaded bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. You're not having green, so here's some Stop. extra ones. I had no time for green. <laughs> oh, I have chicken. I think you might have jammed my thumb. Oh, maybe that'll turn green. <laughs> How? Uh, Hannah wants a drink. But no. No, she does not. Pinch the Dan. No. Pinch the How? How? Oh, you really messed up my thumb. Oh, sorry. I was trying to chicken, uh, chicken bowl you away. <laughs> it's my only defense. Put your chicken wings away. That was nice. I'm all tingly. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah. There's more where that came from. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> you betcha there is. <laughs> probably. Super chats for pinches for Dan. I think last year was probably the record. No, gave me ham. She was too high up. She gave me too much credit. She gave me. She, she gave me too much credit. Oh, sorry. Oh, so the recipe says that that once we pour the broth in, let me see, make sure I get the wording right. Um, you add the vegetable stock and increase the heat to high. Bring to a boil, stirring quite often. This will release the starch in the potatoes and help to thicken the soup. Once it's been boiling for a while, we're going to add a bunch of cheese and sour cream, which also helps. I don't know if Did sour I get cream helps sour too. cream? I had sour cream. Because I screwed up and kept telling you to buy it, even though <laughs> we still had it. There was three in there at one point. But don't you worry. I eat a lot of sour cream. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who was concerned about the handles being hot, but uh, go team out. The handles still aren't hot, and it's yeah. been here for a while. That looks like it's gonna take forever to cook. If we're just sauteing right now, Dan. Don't you worry. Okay. 
A few more minutes, uh, we're gonna add the uh, the uh, vegetable broth. Doors of the super chat. Happy, it's good to be Green Day. Pinch the Dan. Ow! Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the reason to pinch Dan. Oh, our house is responsible for sour cream shortages. Oh, I'm in on that too. C Crystal does. Crystal has sour cream out when she makes nachos. It's crazy. Sour it's so cream crazy. is the best condiment. I could give up pretty much every other condiment. Like, I won't eat burritos if there's no sour cream. Yeah, I've run to the store before to grab sour cream for dinner. But yeah. that's, you know, I get it. It's like an ingredient. It's, it's necessary, though. Like, if we're making burgers and like, oh, crap, we're out of ketchup. No worries. I'll use other things. Okay. Oh, we're out of relish. We're out of mustard. Don't care. I'm fine. Sour cream is a deal breaker. If it is not there, I will not eat things. Amanda says, we never have less than two sour creams in the fridge. Yeah, if one is like half empty, it's time to buy another one. For sure. And I'm, I very often buy the big giant one. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, Mr. Danny Dell sent a pinch for you. Ow! Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, that was. <laughs> Man. I don't even think that made it on camera, that but was don't off worry. It was off camera. Oh, I gotta give him his money's worth. Ow! <laughs> wow. You're, you're gonna have bruises? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good pincher. Watch out. I don't know. Last year last year was a pretty big pretty big record. Thank you so much for the super chat. Last year was a pinch, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big pinch record. My audio sounds blown out now. Okay. Look, at this point, we should just end it and start it over on the phone. No, <laughs> no, I, I'm good. There, there, I turn it I turn it down a little bit. Is that better, or should I go? I can go a little bit more. Uh, I usually have it on the stand over there, but the stand's, the stand's, like, no less than, like, 30 feet away. And then I have to unplug it to plug it back in, and then, like, it'll pop in your ears, and, you know? So, here, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Oh, Kathy says that Dan said no pinch. Too it's late. too late. It's too late. <laughs> you knew what you were signing up for. You should have said no pinch in the super chat. I know, right? Right. Okay, I think there. Is that is that okay now? Um. Okay. So the scam disc. So. <laughs> um, so before you tell that story. Yes. Um. It's probably easier for me to take this over there than you over here at this point. Um, you know, that would be helpful. There was a camera hanging from up there, but then it wasn't working with the... And it didn't want to be a camera, much like it just didn't want to be a desk. Leaning tower of Compiza. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you could bring it over here. You want to trim it so if it gets hot, you can set it on something? No, I'm going to get my mitts. <laughs> I like those. My no pinchy mitts. Oh, you're going over there. Yeah, yeah. All right. There's the soup. <laughs> now this is uh, about five minutes of sauteing the potatoes. And now we're going to add the uh, vegetable stock and turn the heat up to high. Again, that was four cups. That makes it start to be really soupy. And then we're going up to, oh, I have to go to a different burner. Uh, Dan, go put on something green. Thank you so much for the super chat, Amanda. Dan, go put on something green so you stop getting pinched. Please continue to pinch him until he does. I don't know <laughs> if I own any green clothing, and I didn't think of that. Well, I probably would have, like, come out of the shower and then, like, put on green. Well, I don't have green. I don't think I have green. Maybe some s you have green socks. socks. All right. All right, I'm turning the volume up. I don't know what to do for all of you. <laughs> it's too high, it's too low. All right, Goldilocks. All right, I'm gonna go get the stand like it usually is. Okay, so again, 14 to 18 minutes, we're going to saute this. Let me... Oh, why are you making that noise? I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um. So the cook time depends on the dice of the potatoes. I think this is about the size that we did it... Uh, Hannah wants to know if you have a piece of the old green screen and you staple it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I uh, might. What's the difference between veggie stock and veggie broth? I think it's the same thing, right? right. Like chicken stock and chicken broth are the same thing? No? I don't. No idea. Look, I use bouillon cubes. I boiled them in water. It made a liquid that is flavored. All right, I turned off the mic for a second.
Okay, back to factory default there. Is that is <laughs> okay. that better? This is this is how it is normally on the normal. So there we go. Uh, Lily CK says, "Where are you in the recipe? I'm still on the potatoes. I just added the broth slash stock or something, uh, the liquid." To the pot. Also, get yourself one of these potato choppers. It'll chop your potatoes, it'll chop your onions, it'll chop anything you need to chop in like a <laughs> bunch of different sizes. It's got a grater. It's the best thing ever. I think it's like $25 on Amazon. It's the best. Hi, everybody. Doris suggesting you use the green screen as a cape. The camera's totally leaning to the right. Uh, like, no, nobody knows what's going on anymore. Whoa. At some point, we might end up with whoa. some soup. We'll see how it goes. I'm out of here. So you're gonna wanna cook this until the potato bits are fork tender. You want them to be like soft and not crunchy potatoes cause nobody likes a crunchy potato. I guess I can start on, uh, on our dessert. Oh, hey Dan, where's Dan? I lost Dan, sorry. All right, sound is better, but Dan's not here for me to tell him. Angela, I will tell him about your issue as well. I, Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, who are you want cleaning you have green in your hat? Nope, that's like a, get, get, put my bra away. That's not even green, that's teal. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, there might be vodka happening tonight. Uh, actually, I have stuff to make. Uh, what's the thing with the Baileys and the the drink for the thing? I don't know. Is it Baileys mudslides? And... Yes, mudslide. That. Oh, I did. I get it. I was right. Yes. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh! Before the buzzer. <laughs> buzzer. Good. Buzzer like. Ah! Like to, to eat you. <laughs> there were high. also no buzzards. So oh. yes, you were before the buzzer and the buzzard. Weird. <laughs> hey, Dan. Yeah. Chris with the super chat. Uh-oh. Uh, he stopped shredding his own cheese. It was a very degrading decision. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. Uh, Angela's getting a glare off the uh, the white again, like it's too blown out in the back. You should there. close one of your eyes. <laughs> That's the kind of show it is tonight. <laughs> like, the, the white's too white, Dan. <laughs> Does that help? Just look at our overstuffed cupboard that I'm probably going to whack my head on that door at some point. Yes, I'm being a smart ass deliberately, so thank you for letting me know that I was too blown out. <laughs> but I, I am definitely just messing with you because I am. <laughs> um, so at the end of this, once, once this is done boiling, it wants you to mash the potatoes with a potato masher. I don't have a potato masher because I like to be able to open all of my drawers. You can do the monster mash. That's pretty much the only purpose of a potato masher, right? Yep. To stop you from being able to open a drawer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> uh, black pepper or white pepper? I guess your own preference? Does it does it specify in here? Uh, it just says pepper. I, I don't use white pepper, so I'm using black. Use whatever you prefer. You know more about pepper than I do. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mr. Danny Dell wants to know, does it catch? Are we talking about the hot potatoes? Because <laughs> I would love to know if you can catch a hot potato in your mouth. No, you don't. <laughs> no? Oh. Well... Amanda says no glare. Angela, maybe, are, do you have brightness on your, your device? Can you turn the brightness down? Maybe that might help. I look better in the dark anyway. Uh, Dale says it's definitely an OMG night. Oh, I knew when I came home and the wheel was off the desk, like, oh, it's going to be one of those nights. Did you do that? I didn't try to turn it off like that. <laughs> it's not an OMG night. It's an FML night <laughs> for sure. Um, so it says to make the, the potatoes as creamy or as chunky as you desire. So if you have a potato masher, you can potato mash it. I think, is Terry still here? <laughs> oh, I think we just kind of mashed it as well as we could, like with the spatula once the potatoes get soft. We might have to invite Terry back for visits just to make this potato soup. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it 
know what you're doing over there, Dan. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody I knows. Know. Okay, so you want to hear about Scam Disc? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can tell that story. Okay. Okay. Although, now is the time to make the... Oh, then do it. Other. You were just standing there for a second, so do it. This is It's fine. This is just filler for dead time. Okay. So, we are making pistachio muddy buddies, and these, if you guys watched us make muddy buddies in the past, it's pretty much just you melt a chocolate, pour it on the cereal, and then put some sort of powder on the outside, whether it's a, a, a pudding mix or a powdered sugar or whatever. Um, this is a little bit different. Did Terry move away? Yes. Terry got a job in Nevada. She packed up all her stuff and, and moved away. So, you'll see her again. She's... A, like seven, eight, nine hour drive, whatever it is, is not a big deal to her. But you know, obviously, she just got there. She's getting settled. She's gonna start her new job. So uh, it, it'll probably be a little bit. But yeah, she's she's doing well, and she got the heck out of that job that she hated out here. Uh, immersion blender. I don't have one of those. <laughs> we make do with what we have, which is not a potato smasher or an immersion blender. So we are making pistachio muddy buddies, and this one has you making stuff on the stove. We're gonna melt the chocolate chips with some sweetened condensed milk and some butter. It sounds like a cauldron, I love it. It is cauldroning, for sure. Do I need to like watch it for you? No, it's not gonna boil over because there's no milk in it. Like it's not gonna get foamy. And uh, I'll just stir it every once in a while. We should be good. Uh, according to this, it has six and a half more minutes at our minimum time, but I think it's going to be a little more than that. The potatoes still feel a little hard in there. What's Terry doing now? Probably a dab. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, she is going to be working in a restaurant. Anywhere but a hotel, I think, is the, the answer for that. Um, okay, so in a small saucepan, we're going to combine a quarter cup of butter melted. So we'll just stick it in there and then we'll melt it. <laughs> I like Chris. Oh, we're in Nevada. Vegas, baby. No, no, like in the corner towards like Utah area where it's snowing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like snowy there. Take some of that off, so I have to go here. Thank you, Tristan. I assume that was for me. How's that looking, Dan? Like, not like the color of soup, not, not like the color of potato soup. That's because we haven't added the cheese and the sour cream. It'll come together, I promise you. All right, so right now I'm melting the butter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're definitely crashing into each other tonight. Amanda says, congratulations, I will miss seeing you all. Terry will be back. It just happened, like, we were off that week, and then, like, it all happened so fast, because... Yeah, she kind of had stuff in the works, and then it all just came together, yeah. and we had no shows, and then... Like we, like we said the other day, like, when you're party of one, it's easy just to pack it, like, it's easy just to go. I'm gonna do this in the... So it was nice. I, like last week when we had no shows, like we got to hang out like the whole week. Uh, the whole week I got to hang out with Terry, and then yeah, I talk about her like she's dead. <laughs> like, we got I, to hang out one final time. I did talk to her today. We did cheers uh, our last uh, McDonald's cheeseburgers together. Though. She said it is beautiful out there. She sent me some pictures of like the snow and it stuff. Is, and it is. It is beautiful out there. It is a little bit more weather than here. Yes. But yeah, sorry. It all like happened on like a. A no stream. And then I almost uh, live streamed taking Roxy to the vet, but there was no time. It was like time to go. So, you know. All right, it's definitely starting to thicken. The starches are coming out. We're, we're getting towards soup. But don't worry, Ann. This is, this is the same soup we've made before. It will look how it's supposed to look. All right, so we have a cup of white chocolate chips, a half a cup of sweetened condensed milk. You don't like white chocolate. Mmm. Told you. <laughs> All right. The butter is almost melted. Your thing should go like back and this way. It looks like baking, or it looks like cooking. It looks like cooking. All right, there's our condensed milk. How's Roxy doing now? She's fine. Like, a couple of days ago when she felt better, she's like, 
went crazy and was running around the house with Baxter again, and they've just been going nuts for like the last two or three days. She's back to her normal self. So she's, she's completely still, back to her normal self. She still has the antibiotics for another week. She's done with the eye drops, and her eyes seem good. Yeah. Okay, so once this is all melted, we're just going to do this just until it melts, and then we're going to add the pistachio pudding mix and remove it from the heat and add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Can you give me the half a teaspoon out? Oh, yeah, okay. I need you to quickly wash and dry that. I should have measured my cereal out first. Like your Chex Mix stuff? Yes. Yeah, dry that as well as you can, and then I need six cups of this. Whoa, it's so light outside still. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that. Uh, right. For those of you in Arizona, our time has changed. It is daytime still. Uh, six cups of that. That's a four cup measuring cup. All right, we'll get back to the chat in a minute. Oh, that's so much bag for like not much Chex Mix or rice squares in here. They didn't need to like do that. There's a line for four cups, so don't fill it all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. Dan. Well, the four cups is right here. Okay, that's a little over four cups. Okay, we'll, we'll call that six cups. So apparently one box of uh, rice squares makes two batches of Chex Mix. Okay, we are melted. And then we're gonna add the pudding mix and mix just until incorporated. I hope these are good. I wasn't a big fan of the ones we made last time. I don't, I was really excited for the strawberry cheesecake, but they really weren't that good. They were fun. I thought they were okay. They did the trick for me, but like one time only. That yeah, was, I, I won't make that again. That anyway. was good. All right. Oh, pistachio pudding mix is green in case you were wondering. I don't know if you can see how green that turned. Oh wow, it's super green. Jess says, uh, we did Rubens today uh, for St. Patrick's Day. They look really good, Jess. All right. So now we're at the point where we remove this from the heat. We're adding a half a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Angela, thank you for the suggestion, but we're not going to repaint our cabinets for the glare. What's <laughs> happening is that I don't have a front ring light anymore because it went, it went. <laughs> So I think that was electronics for stop. So once I can get like a human size one of these, that's not three inches, then that will offset set the kitchen glare. Can you get me a big Ziploc? Um, I'm kind of stuck with the kitchen glare because these have to be a little bright for Crystal to see cooking. Oh, they're calling you out for eating the checks. Um, so this is weirder than just melted chocolate. It's kind of like thick. We'll see how this goes. Let's let's try it. It says to pour it over this, mix it in. Can you get me the one cup measuring cup and the quarter cup measuring cup? Yeah, this is definitely like stickier and gooier than just chocolate. I don't know if I'm a fan of this, but we'll see how it goes. All right, there's a quarter cup. It smells like pistachio. And then the other one's a cup cup? Yeah. It's very sticky. Usually it's like kind of creamy with the melted chocolate. That is not the case here. I'm trying not to break the cereal bits. Right but it's hard with this consistency because it's not creamy. It's kind of Play-Doh-y. But it smells like pistachios. And they'll say, oh, that's why you started at 11.30 my time instead of 12.30 now. Oh. Ah, yes. yes. Do you guys not change time in... Oh, no, they're smart over there. Nobody does that stupid stuff. 
I'm really over it. Every time we have a time change, they talk about, like, we're gonna ban this, and Congress is talking about it, and it, it we just keep doing it. Except for uh, Arizona, and I think Hawaii doesn't do it. Luch, you're wasting all your old man steps. <laughs> so this is one and three quarter cups. Green napalm, or Nickelodeon slime. All right, this is the part where you hold the bag open so I can try to dump this in. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> can't eat that whole blob. Dan! That had a lot of my <laughs> goo on it. It's pistachio -y. Yeah. Leftovers? No. Do you want me to save this? Or? Sure. What's the timer say? 34 seconds. Okay. Alright. Seems like way too much powdered sugar, but I'm following the recipe. You can do it. Alright, can I have the big baking sheet? One, the one? Yeah. Shut that off. That's our uh, 18 minutes. I will get to that in just a moment. This is weird because it's hot. Like it's not usually this warm when I do this. Chris. Uh, Christine says that is a lot of sugar. Yeah, I don't know how much we usually use. I don't remember offhand, but that's a lot. <laughs> Dan, what is this? It's the chunk. <laughs> yeah, it is. I told you that stuff was really sticky gooey. of this because I don't think this is right. <laughs> it's just the pieces that like clump together. I'm trying to toss it with the uh, extra powdered sugar here because like it's still goo inside. Oh, can you shut that off? The, the yeah. thing? Yeah, I'll come do the other steps in just a minute. Okay. So. Look, I like, I'm like that luck of everything I touch right now. So I'm just gonna like not touch any of the stuff over there. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> it's green. Success? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know that I want a big chunk of condensed milk and pudding. Yeah, this is not my favorite. We'll see how it tastes, but visually. It sounds fun. I wish I would have left it in the bag and broken the pieces up. I just reached in. If you guys make this, do it that way. Yeah, it's not bad. You want to taste it? Oh, you already ate a bunch, but... It's like Beetlejuice. Yeah. Ah, hey, hey, can you... My hands are filthy. Thank you. Gotcha. 
Alright, so it's good. It don't visually look the best, but it's definitely not bad. It tastes just like the pistachio muffins. I'm gonna set it here and let it cool, and we're gonna get back to souping. Are you gonna be over there for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna come back this way? Uh maybe. Are you gonna be over here for a while? Yeah, because I have to add the things we're doing like the final steps. Okay. Sorry, did I? No, no, not you're fine. Very well you're fine. Then. I just have to like transform and roll out. <laughs> you got this, Dan. All right, so I don't want it too mushy. I don't want to like make mashed potatoes, but I'm just kind of mashing a little bit with my spatula. I still want some chunks in there. We're still gonna stir it up when we add other things, so there's still gonna be some some chance for mashing. Sorry, be back Mitch. again. But it locked up, and then it said that my vid, my my NV encoder was just done. I don't know. It's like not happy. It's not happy. Let's chat. Say, are we good? Uh, maybe. It depends on who's refreshed. There's 23 people here. I can't tell. F M L. No, oh, we're, we're live. I just heard myself say FML, even though I turned the volume down on my phone. All right, we're back! Through the magic of TV magic, I made soup! <laughs> it's done. Let me show you guys what's going on here. Mooch, stay back. Um, it's, it's soupy. It looks way more yellow on the camera than it does in real life, but it's got some chunks, and then it's got some, like, mash in there, too. And uh, it's really hot, and it's really good. It's not for you. Mm -mm. Am I able to see chat? Uh, did Mooch get some sour cream? No, not yet. I'll I'll hook him up. I'll get him a little like a uh, little treat tube or something, but. good look I know we had all kinds of difficulties you guys missed some steps here and there don't worry about it the recipe is on the getting baked with crystal Pinterest page you should try this if you guys like potato soup at all you should try this um every time we buy it at the store it's always oily and kind of makes my stomach hurt a little bit this is amazing it makes a whole bunch there's a whole a whole half a pot is that a thing a whole half a pot um, there's plenty of servings. I would say probably like, depending on how much you eat, like six to 12 servings. I think the first time we made it, we had like seconds and we were like, oh my God, this is amazing. And it was six servings. <laughs> Anything in a bowl is for baby mooch. He thinks so. Did you put cream cheese in it? No, but I did put sour cream, sour cream, uh, Parmesan and cheddar, but unfortunately it has onions and garlic. So mooch is not allowed to have it. Chats are really small and half covered up. Got it. Hey, thanks. I was gonna suggest using a pastry cutter to mash your potatoes. Um, I have a pastry cutter, but it wouldn't work because it's too deep in the pot, and I wouldn't be able to get down to the bottom without shoving my hand in the soup and it was hot. Uh, onions and garlic are bad for kitties. Yes, they are not allowed to have onions or garlic. Sour cream for mooch. I picked it all up already. Good on my end. Vodka, vodka, vodka. I think I might make a mudslide. All right. This is so good. What kind of cheese did you use in it? That's the part I missed. Um, shredded Parmesan. And it just says cheddar. I used mild cheddar. Whatever your preference is, I guess. I figured like, is it mild or medium? Medium cheddar. There was sharp and there was medium. And that's all I could see because some lady was standing in front of all the cheese forever and I was done waiting. So I just reached the one that I could reach, which was medium cheese. You could probably use whatever cheese you wanted. That's cheese, not hair. <laughs> just so you know that's really good yeah that's really good i think terry's gone already but uh terry we did it 
It's really good. You Did guys, you take a photo for Instagram? Not yet, but I'm going to put it in the bowl that matches what I do the thing in. <laughs> Yeah, did you enjoy the soup? That, but yeah, it was really good. It, it was really good. We usually have garlic bread with it. Um, you can sprinkle some cheese, some green onions, whatever yeah. on top of it. There's plenty of cheese in it. Uh, don't worry. Once we're done here, I'll uh, I'll have a bowl. Once we're done here, I'm still trying to make sure that like this ship doesn't completely sink before we get out of here. I did see right as we went down, somebody said something about it needing to cook for way longer. I think because the potato bits.